my name is Zisto. Uh, welcome back to Terraria. I actually recorded a fairly lengthy uh, building episode where I worked on the house. You can see that the water is higher here. And what happened is the footage got corrupted. So, real quick, I'm not going to reshoot all that stuff because I already did the amount of construction I did. I'm going to show you what I did uh, in that episode and then we're gonna go straight to the footage which I, I've already recorded that happened after that which was not corrupted uh, where I farm the wall of flesh some so first thing I did in the video is I I demolished my little tests aquarium over here and that raised the sea level quite a bit Um I haven't dealt with it yet I'm going to dig a hole all the way to the underworld to drain this and then um, put a little gate down where I can turn it on and off to drain it to the level I want. Uh, let's see, what happened here? Oh, I I evicted my NPCs. I, I built a room here and a room here for the guide and the nurse. Uh, more to stop enemy spawns than because I want them always right next to me. And I put some temporarily temporary NPC housing right here. And I started work on the NPC houses, which are going to be these towers sort of sticking out all around the edges of the house. And I kind of, this is sort of the right idea, but they are not dense enough. I want them to be sort of overlapping a little more. But uh, this was um, the amount of work I did on those. Let's see, what else did I do? Oh, I, uh, <laughs> I evicted my NPCs by blowing the hell out of them I blew the hell out of the house with TNT to evict them to try and encourage them to spawn over there a little faster um, that was funny but <laughs> footage got corrupted so anyway that's everything I did the only thing still left over here in terms of functionality of the house are all all this inventory stuff which I have yet to move over uh, but I think I'm gonna keep this ruin like it is because it's it's kind of funny looking so that's what happened there, and now we'll get back to the footage that happened uh, that I recorded after the corrupted footage. So see you later, or see you soon, actually. Hello, my name is Istu. Welcome back to my adventures in Terraria. The house is uh, coming along, sort of. Um, I'm gonna take a little break from building the NPC rooms and go farm the wall of flesh. He has several items that he drops that I don't have. And uh, after that, then uh, I will continue on the rooms, and then after that, I will probably... I need to move this stuff into here. I'm probably gonna leave this ruin of the house up just because it kind of looks fun. Um, but I am nearly fully moved in here. But I keep having to run over there for items. Uh, whenever I need something in those boxes and there's monsters all over there and it's just sort of a hassle so I do want to get fully moved in to my new super duper uber luber house so I'm gonna come down here and farm the wall of flesh and uh, what I've done so that I don't have to worry about gravitation potions or lava resistance potions I've taken uh, I think three or four stacks of dungeon bricks and I've laid them out all the way from the edge of the map until I ran out, however long that was, 750 blocks. And that should be enough to kill the wall of flesh. I'm going to kill him a bunch of times, so I figured for fun I would kill him with a different weapon each time. Um, I don't expect him to be very difficult with my advanced gear level right now. Uh, what I need now... Okay, I, was, I wanted to see if there was lava right there. I, I needed a place to uh, drop the guide. So let's see. What should I do first? I think first I'm going to kill him with the Mega Shark. Um, so for that, let's uh, well, let's, let's keep an eye out on the things running around. Um, so I want the ranged helmet. Oh, god damn it. Let's just look at this before we put that stuff on. 27 damage. So we're going to put on the ranged helmet and the warding ranger emblem. He drops two other emblems. And that boosts, boosts the damage all the way up to 35. Um, and I have a series of buffs. I don't really need the magic buffs for this particular kill. 
So I'm just going to use the Regen Potion, the Iron Skin Potion, and the Swiftness Potion. And I guess I will toggle them manually. Let me switch these so they're all in a line. Um, and he, I think he has, what, 8,000 health? He has two other emblems, a Magic Emblem and a Physical Damage Melee Emblem. And he also drops three weapons, a Magic Weapon, a Ranged Weapon, and a mag uh, Melee Weapon. So I want to get all of those things. So, um, there's probably no use in waiting. The monsters are just going to keep spawning. Oops. Uh, let's see. Regen Potion. <laughs> so, like, the switching from left click to right click to left click to right click. <laughs> it's kind of confusing. Alright, I have all those buffs. There you go. Alright, here we go. Jeffrey was slain. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, here we go, Wall of Flesh. <laughs> Let's see how you do this time. Chris Blatskis. And. Oh, yeah, this isn't gonna last very long. <laughs> that was quick. And as far as I know, I don't think they ever fixed the bug where. Um, you have to restart the game after fighting him. Let's see, what did I get? Um, let me put these guardian... Oh, the sorcerer emblem. Good, I don't have that one. And free health. And I'm going to keep that hole there for dropping that. I'm just going to put these blocks there so when I'm done I can seal the hole. And I guess what I'm going to do is wait for another guide. Uh, log out, log back in. I, maybe I'll keep this room here as a sort of a, uh, a record of how many times I've killed him. And shoot, I have too many items on my bar. I kind of want this hammer. It probably sells for a decent amount. But I don't... Oh, you know what I can do. I know what I'm going to do. Daniel, the guide has arrived. Okay, let's put a piggy bank out and put some of this stuff in the bank. Okay, that's the wrong button. Oh, go kill yourself. So, let's put some of this stuff in there. Extra own hammer. Um, and this time, let's use the light discs. So, um, let's do one of those. One of those. Make sure that's going. Drop this guy down. Okay, let's try again. All right, like, like disc. Wing, 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 wing. Zing, 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 zing. <laughs> I guess first, let's just play around with him a little, because he's not that difficult. He's not doing a ton of damage. Let's... Wow, look at all the damage. I guess it penetrates if it's uh, on its way back, but it'll bounce back to you if it gets something on the way out to its furthest extent. Uh, not as much DPS. Ob obviously, I guess because uh, a lot of the bullets are bouncing off his fist. They all seem to be dead now, but still, not as much damage. Doesn't seem like as the, uh, as the gun. Not even close. This is taking quite a bit longer. Maybe this is a good little uh, test for like, which, which weapon and items gear setup does the most damage per second. Maybe I should put a little sign next to each of the little um, obsidian brick uh, rooms that all this all this loot spawns in. Put a little sign. This wall of flesh killed this. Like this. Like this. Sucks. Even though it's fun. All right, come on, buddy. There we go. But I don't have any signs on me, and I don't really feel like doing that. All right, what we get this time? Another Sorcerer Emblem, and from this point forward, I'm going to be using my other two potions, the Mana Regeneration Potion and the Magic Power Potion, um, so I can just hit B for buff, and I try to remember, I think I, I set V as my potion spell, so I wouldn't, or my Mana Potion spell, so I wouldn't hit it accidentally, so let's see, Forceful Crystal Storm, let's change the emblem to this one. I don't have a good multiplier on that, but I'm not really too concerned about that for the uh, Wall of Flesh. He's not that big of a threat. 
Um, Demon Scythe. I didn't really intend to bring that with me. I'm not going to use that one. Only stuff I've gotten since starting hard hardcore mode, or hard mode, not hardcore mode. So I think we're good to go. Yeah, everything's set up. I didn't really change much in the way of gear. Here we go. And buff, and drop. Oh, get out of here. Scott was slain while the flesh has awoken. These are some dumb guys just continually showing up. They don't really seem to be getting the hint. Very nice. And, let's see, yeah, it is the run out of mana quite quickly. But with the V spell, and potions are pretty cheap for uh, an easy to acquire. You can just buy them from the wizard merchant. Down to 3,000. So this is, I'm going to say this is better than light discs. Not as good as the, uh, not as good as the Mega Shark. Pick up the loot. Oh, looks like I got the, the sword. The special drop that he has. This is one of the three weapons I wanted. Drop some torchy torches. And looks like I got everything. Awesome Buster Sword, I think it's called. Or it's it's uh, modeled after the Buster Sword. Look at all the mana on the ground and hearts. I guess the little eyeball things drop that. Um, let's see, did he drop another emblem? I don't need that in my inventory anymore. I guess he just drops one thing, and this time he dropped the Zealous Breaker Blade. 41 damage. Average speed. Very strong knockback. Let's give that a try. I know it's not much damage, but it does... It is huge. Pow! Yeah, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this weapon is worthless. It's too slow to be to be practical. But that's funny. A little Final Fantasy VII reference. All right. Zealous cursed flames. Not the best prefix, but uh, who cares? I'll eventually. I, I'm such a. I'm so OCD about stuff. I'm such a completionist. I'm probably gonna end up trying to get the legendary or the equivalent best enchantment for an item type. Gamma. Um, for every every item in the game, basically. Gamma get sham. Part of the problem with some of these is they're hard to always hit the eyeball. I had that problem with the the, uh, the crystal storm, I guess. And this one is going to be. Oh, we just passed Crystal Storm. Slightly slower than Crystal Storm. I didn't really expect that. Oh, and I still had a little guide left. And buff. And sacrifice. The Blood Moon is rising. Uh-oh. All right, we got to do this quick so I can go make some cash. Come on, Wall of Flesh. Bring it. Oh, and it bounces off of that. Yes. Ha-ha. ding, ding, ding. So I know that the the sound changes based on how far away you are. I wonder if the damage changes, uh, the speed changes based on how far away your mouse is from your your person or whatever. You little you little, little bearded badass. He's almost dead. We are about to hit up. That was the crystal storm. Slightly faster than the crystal storm. Although I I happen to think that a weapon like the um, harp, which I've tested, does, um, warrior emblem. Okay, that's the third emblem. I didn't have that one yet. Uh, it does, uh, penetrate, so it would be really good against the destroyer. And so that is slightly better than the crystal storm, at least for this boss. And probably for bosses like, um, Skeletron, Skeletron Prime, and the twins, where penetration doesn't really help. And sacrifice. Here we go. Oh, sweet. Colors. Looks so awesome. I'm not sure how practical this weapon is for uh, mass damage on a boss. 
but uh, we're gonna do it anyway just for fun. It does, wow, it does crit for a hell of a lot of damage though, I have to say. But just getting through these guys is kind of a pain in my butt. Come on! Once I can actually hit this dude in his eyeball, then I should be able to get some good damage. Come on. There we go. Alright. Yeah, and it's fairly slow. I'm clicking, 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 clicking as fast as I can. As fast as my little fingers will click. Okay, I think, I think that's the end of those guys. Down to about half health. I'm gonna go ahead and predict that this one's gonna be the slowest. Oh, maybe if I get closer. Let's get closer. No, that's the end. Come on. Come on. Very slow, very slow. Have we passed? I wonder if we passed the slowest mark yet. I think we probably did, just did right there. Oh no, here it is. Oh, not the slowest. Look at that. Water Flesh defeated another Ranger emblem. Or Sorcerer emblem. More stuff. Alright, so those are all the different weapons I had. There's a few more weapons in the game, but uh, I need to kill more bosses to get them. Um, and I assume the most powerful weapon will be the last one you can acquire by defeating all three bosses. So I may do this again, as you know, try and get another benchmark once I get those weapons. But by far the fastest was the Unreal Mega Shark, so I'm gonna switch to that for the rest of the kills and try and oh, another guide, excellent. Uh, try and get what am I missing? Let's see, I'm only missing. The clockwork assault rifle and the laser rifle. Those are the only things I want. Here we go. And buff and drop. Let's go. Let's see if I can start earlier and I wanna try and break my previous record. Yeah, take that! Little fiddly thingies. And I think I, I have to hit the eyeball or the mouth or the other eyeball to do damage to them. Yes! Oh look at all that damage. Lovely. You know what I didn't try was the bow. But I think the bow is good for penetration. And if I wanted to set a, a different benchmark, look at that. Almost exactly the same as my previous little record. A little bit past it. If I wanted to do a different benchmark, it would be against the destroyer with penetration weapons. See how effective they are. And it did not overwrite my uh, little piggy bank. Ooh, clockwork assault rifle. Rifle. Clockwork assault rifle. Get out of here. Good, so now I only need the laser rifle. Maybe I'll do a benchmark with this. Three round burst. Yeah. Come on. Stick your little head out. How am I doing on ammo? 800 left. I'm doing pretty good. Let me get rid of these little hand things. They're annoying as hell. Probably don't really need the regen potion to be on the potion. Those are probably a little superfluous. You probably get along just fine without them. This one's doing pretty good. Get right in your eyeball. <laughs> and, but it is slower than the Mega Shark, as predicted, which should have been obvious because of how much more you have to do to get the. Uh, the, the Mega Shark. What did I just get? A pointy own hammer. And another assault rifle. Cool. Oh! Oh! Nearly a record. Arcane Sorcerer Emblem. <laughs> I can see that this is fairly consistent place for uh, benchmarking the Mega Shark. More potions. What if I start inside his hand and just stay there? Maybe I can set a new record this way. Oh, nearly! Clockwork Assault Rifle, again! Damn it! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Yes! Haha, <laughs> new record! I tried to, this time I tried to stay inside the range of his little uh, reachy arm things. Yeah, and just focus on the eyeballs as much as possible, and that did end up being a little faster. And there we go, laser rifle! That's the last thing he drops. I don't need to farm this asshole anymore. Celestial laser rifle. Plus damage, minus speed, minus mana. Cost, 
which I is good. Uh, even though it's a negative, it makes it easier to use. Plus knockback. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Let's give them a shot of my laser rifle. Oh, it's like the space gun, but quite a bit faster. Um, I don't have the space gun on me. I don't know exactly where it is for me to test out the relative damages. I'm going to go ahead and guess this one's more powerful. Zoom, 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 zoom! All right, so that's all the weapons from, and all the other items, the ranger emblems, what, and, uh, and what have you in the wall of flesh. So uh, next up, I think I will do another episode of Building on the House. And then after that, I'm going to guess Skeletron Prime. So hope you enjoyed the uh, very informative and scientifically minded video. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye.